In this video, we're going to talk about the Blackmagic Design ATEM switchers and the different types of keyers that it offers. Specifically, we're going to look at upstream keyers and downstream keyers, and when to use each one. If you're looking to dive more in depth into live streaming and learn how the Blackmagic ATEM switchers work, or you want to build a thriving business that pays you what you're worth through live streaming, don't forget that I have an online course where I'll teach you everything that you need to know to build a six-figure live streaming business. Head on over to streamingmastery.com or check out the links in the description below. Now, I know that this can be a difficult topic for newbies to the live stream world, so I wanted to break this down in an easy to understand way. Let's begin with what is an upstream keyer? An upstream keyer is a video production technique used in live broadcasting. The upstream keyer takes a graphic or video source and overlays it on top of the primary video. This technique is used to add special effects, text, and other graphics to the video output. The upstream keyer is used before the primary video source reaches the switcher, hence this is why you'll see upstream keyers used quite a bit to remove a green screen. You want that to happen before it hits the program or the live feed and is viewed by your audience. Next, what's a downstream keyer? A downstream keyer, on the other hand, is a video production technique used after the primary video has been switched, hence why it's called downstream, because it happens downstream. A downstream keyer overlays graphics or video elements over the switched output. This technique is used to add lower thirds, logos, and other graphics to the video output. The downstream keyer is used after the primary video source has been switched into program. The main difference between upstream and downstream keyers is when they are used in the production process. Another difference is the type of graphics or effects that can be applied using each keyer. The upstream keyer can be used to remove a green screen and replace it or key it with the visuals that you choose, while typically a downstream keyer doesn't operate with chroma key capabilities. It's also important to note that the upstream keyer occurs on a transition. You may notice that the button in the ATEM software control is called tie, which means it is tied to the transition. So if you want to cut from a shot of newscasters at a desk to the shot of the weatherman in front of his green screen, the upstream keyer should be turned on so that it applies to the next shot when you transition from one to the other. Then the downstream keyer is used for elements like lower thirds and logos on the screen. As you use them more frequently, you'll find that it's easier to understand once you see them in action. So my best recommendation is to get on out there and start streaming. And again, if you wanna start doing that today, Streaming Mastery is there for you with over 100 video trainings ready to go, or you could simply come back here to my channel where I also provide trainings in my free time. Just be sure to hit the like and subscribe button below so that you can be notified when new videos come out. That's all for this live streaming training. See you next time.